shines through the trees, the pond the rose the leaves. Well, it's all that I had hoped for. See the mountains shake in the wake of death. Missing my birds cold on the precipice of Hi friends, welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. I just sat down here and I filmed this whole wonderful 40 minute long video and I was pretty happy with it, feeling pretty good about it and then I went to look back at like the first two seconds of the footage just to check it and the whole time I wasn't in focus. I was gonna refilm it today like immediately afterwards but then I was just like, you know what? No. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I just did not have any motivation. I was feeling quite down this morning. Feeling a little bit better now. I'll just do it tomorrow, I'll do it the next day. I'll make it even better or something. I just feel like this always happens. And like, if you have lost footage or if like you filmed the whole thing and then you realize somehow it got like corrupted or messed up or like maybe iMovie crash. Why does iMovie crash so much? I think it's a conspiracy. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put on my new glasses now and like, they look a little bit silly. They have like this really um, big tint over the lens. They're very uh, pink tinted, kind of rose tinted, but um, it's just literally amazing how much I can see. Like, yeah. Yeah, so like the tint definitely wouldn't be something I would choose for myself, but like um, the optometrist I went to see and everything like that, she, spe she specializes with like brain injuries and concussions, so it's not like an aesthetic choice at all it's simply for my concussion and yeah like the first night i got them i just put them on and i just immediately started crying because phew, i haven't seen like this in 11 months and i basically just went over to my bookshelf and like picked up so many books and just like looked at the covers because I just like hadn't seen them properly so it was a very like overwhelming experience i don't know if i'm gonna wear these glasses in like every clip because i am aware that it does look a little bit silly i'm very happy with these i also have reading glasses that are dark blue tinted and those look a little strange as well but honestly i don't care like i am just so blessed that i can see things like yeah anyway these are them. Uh, I have some reading updates that I wanted to talk about for a little bit because I'm really liking everything I'm reading right now. And then I have like a little mini haul. It's not a very exciting haul, I'll just warn you. It's mostly, well, I think it's exciting. It's some tea, some new tea, and a whole bunch of new face masks that I got, both of which are from my roommate's mother because she was getting rid of a whole bunch of like these weird, I don't know if they're like samples or something because they are all pretty much 
individually packaged tea bags. They look like kind of weird sample uh, versions of tea. And then she made some face masks for me, which I'm so excited about. So anyway, I'm currently still reading The Broken Wings. I am absolutely just like loving the language used in here. Um, I'm really, really, really enjoying this. I'm currently on chapter five, which is 24 pages through. So making quite a slow way with it, but that's okay. Um, I'm also listening to an audiobook. I started this maybe yesterday. I finished Sorcery of Thorns and oh boy, let me tell you, I was really enjoying the first half of that book and then the whole second half, it literally just went like this. I kept sitting there listening to it and I kept like speeding up the audiobook speed and i kept asking myself like is this over yet like it has to be over now right like it's over now because it just kept dragging on and on and on i'm gonna have like so many more things to say about it in my wrap up but it just took forever for this book to end and i was like oh ugh, margaret rogerson you had us in the first half that's over so i started if i had your face by francis cha wow so good it's so good it is just so good. I'm in the middle of it right now. I'm almost halfway through. Um, it's kind of a shorter audiobook as well, but it is amazing. It's so good. Um, it's about four women living in Korea and their experience and their lives dealing with mostly Korea's um, beauty culture and their really ruthless world of beauty and aesthetics and just overall looks and like what it's like living as a woman i'm really enjoying the like super broad range of perspectives and lives that francis cha has chosen to like document and these different perspectives different opinions i love that it's not really clear like what the author's thoughts on um really particular things are because it's very much a really it feels like a really real open-minded study of life um, in Korea as a woman and I'm loving it. So I'm really really quite enjoying If I Had Your Face by Francis Shaw. It's, I would really really highly recommend. It's really good. Yeah, so today is Monday. I was feeling quite productive uh, after I filmed that video until I realized that uh, it was unusable. So now I just have all the books sadly stacked on the floor waiting for probably tomorrow or Wednesday to film. This week I'm hopefully planning to go thrift shopping because I haven't been thrift shopping in forever like months since the pandemic started i can't remember the last time i was in like an actual store other than the grocery store so yeah other than that this week i'm just feeling very motivated to like create booktube content and make a lot of videos um it's basically just what i've been giving the most of my energy to and it's been so fun and i just want to say hi to like everyone who's like here on my channel now because there's so many of you and it feels like i feel like a little bit of stage fright about it but it's okay come introduce yourself come say hi i would love to meet you it's about like 3 30 or 4 right now i think i'm gonna go for a little walk this afternoon i think i might make the little walk back up to the little community library because i have a book i want to donate and then i don't know i might have a nap or something and we will see so oh also let me show you like the face masks okay so here are the masks that i got first so i love the inside color of this one i think it's such a nice green but then the other side is just some really nice pretty blue flowers um so that one's so nice and also i love the little straps are like kind of iridescent neon-y rainbow glitter <laughs> um so that's the first one she made and then this one is more like a red patterned uh, with some floral stuff going on and really nice. I really love the inside colors of like all of them as well. Um, this one is probably my favorite. So this is the inside of it. But then the other side, yeah, it has deer on it. Oh my gosh. And maple leaves. Um, I love deer so much and this is just absolutely beautiful it's just so nice and there's like pine trees big leaves anyway and then this last one is actually like reversible i guess they're all technically reversible but this one has like more of a geometric print and then 
some turquoise, I don't know what you'd call this, but so that is my little mascot. All right, so I'm heading out on my walk. I got pretty cozy because the temperature cooled down a little bit, but um, the book I'm gonna be depositing in the little library is The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer. This is book one. It's white and old edition, and I have the complete um, books of The Fairy Queen on my bookshelf, so don't need this one. Hopefully I can find a new home. Good Tuesday afternoon. I finally, I'm just like so happy because I got to refilm that video today and I just finished filming it like 20 minutes ago or something and this time it was in focus and I can't wait for you guys to see it um yeah anyway it is Tuesday it's about it's almost two o'clock I think I have absolutely no food in my fridge except for this big bowl of hummus but I don't have anything to eat the hummus with so I'm gonna have to go out in a few minutes to get some hummus eating material so i also got some book mail that i'm so happy about because i mentioned the book that got sent to me it's now gone i mentioned this book a few vlogs ago i think or something because i said i was starting it on audiobook so right i started it on audiobook and i was blown away i literally only got 25 minutes through the audiobook before i was like okay i don't want to listen to this anymore i want to have the book i want to have it for myself i want to read it for myself because it was just so good and i can tell like it, it's like a five star prediction for me or like i know it's gonna be a book that i'm gonna love so much explore so many of the themes i love to explore and just be an overall really really good experience so i'm so excited that someone sent this book to me thank you so much jordan and the note says that just sending you a gift because i had I adore you. I adore you too. I've never heard of this book and it sounds so good. I want to hear your thoughts on it before I buy it for myself. So it kind of sounds like Jordan, you want to read it too, which I know I've heard a lot of people like talking about it and stuff like that. Okay, I've like hyped it up way too much, but it is a tale for the time being. Look at this. Look at this cover. Look at it. It is absolutely beautiful stunning um yeah it's a tale for the time being by ruth ozaki i've heard of this around a few places and then i saw it on libby decided to give it a go um it's a man booker prize finalist as well this is just so beautiful i cannot get over it oh my gosh so if you haven't heard of what a tale for the time being is about we're following a lot of different things going on so basically we have this young girl who's living in japan when the 2011 tsunami hits and previously before the tsunami hit she is writing a journal or a diary describing her life and everything like that what's going on and when the tsunami hits the tsunami drags and takes her journal among other things wrapped in a hello kitty lunchbox and somehow this lunchbox arrives all the way in british columbia in canada and is picked up by this woman named ruth who is a writer and she opens the contents and starts to read now's journal the journal of the girl from japan of course our author's name is also ruth so there are so many just interesting things going on in here i cannot wait to read this whole thing i also know that a lot of the content from now's journal she is trying to chronicle her grandmother's life as a buddhist nun i believe yes her grandmother no her great grandmother is a 104 year old zen buddhist nun that is a tale for the time being literally thank you so much i'm so excited about this book and yeah so anyway i have a few halloween decorations that i want to put up and then i'm going to get out of my pjs because i'm still in my pjs and go on a little walk and stop in at the store to grab some something to eat this hummus with so hello welcome to wednesday i'm here to talk about books and i also got a very exciting package yesterday when I checked the mail after getting back from the walk, so I'm so excited about it. It's from Lucy over at Crescent Pages, and she got me a mug, and I'm just so in love with it, like so unbelievably happy about it. Um, <laughs> I just, I just, I love her, what the heck? So this is what it looks like. It's white, the little quote, it's on both sides as well. Um, it has a quote from Rilke on it, and it's just, let everything happen to you, beauty and terror, just keep going, no feeling is final, which I love so much. Um, 
I just love it. I love it so much. I'm so happy about it, Lucy. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to drink my coffee in this tomorrow or something because like, wow, I didn't even know that you could get mugs with like Rilke quotes on them. This is amazing. This is the best day of my life. I'm also trying to like remember or compile a list of all of kind of the new things I've tried this month or what I've just been loving this month and like new recipes I've tried or just new stuff that I've been trying because I've been thinking about making some like favorites videos which I don't think I've ever done but I think it would be quite fun especially for like a fall themed one where I talk about like every single thing that I've done or tried or liked this month because I know um, I really like watching favorites videos or listening to them, so yeah, I might think about doing one of those either for September and October or split, I uh, know, combine both of them together and make um, like a fall favorite. I'm also very unsure right now as to where to put some Halloween decorations that um, we have here. So we have <laughs> this little red squirrel um, and he's got like his fall essentials in his arms. Um, I don't know where to put him. He looks very mischievous to me. Um, I love red squirrels though. They're quite sneaky things, but I would love to put him somewhere. I don't know if on like my desk or my bookshelf or maybe, I don't know, where would you like to go? Um, and then this one is just marvelous. I really don't know where I should put this. <laughs> I also have to name them all. I suppose this guy could have three names, but I'm just over the moon about this. I love Halloween decorations. They're such weird, wacky things, and I love them so much. Um, I don't know where to put this guy, though, so we're gonna have to find a place for this three-headed dog. <laughs> I want to find a place for them today. The leaves are also all turning and changing color and I love it so much. The trees are just like popping into shades of red um, and dark orange. I'm also very excited because tomorrow I'm going thrift shopping for the first time in forever. I'd love to take you guys along with me because I know the thrift store I think I'm going to, they have everything. Like they have clothes, they have books, they have books um, and they have like knickknacks and fun little antique things. So I'm quite excited to go treasure hunting tomorrow because it's been so long. I would love to start delving into making a little bit more at least of non-bookish content because there's just so many things I love in life. So yeah, I hope that's cool. In terms of reading updates, I'm almost finished. Yeah, I've almost finished listening to If I Had Your Face by Frances Cha so good it's definitely going to be a four star um i don't know if she's written anything else but if so i'd be very interested in reading the rest of her works because it's really good um she's also one of the narrators of the audiobook which is really great as well and i'm just loving it i'm loving it i'm loving it um i think the next audiobook i have in my library i need to pick up is called the a natural the natural history of dragons i'm really i'm not sure who the natural history of dragons i think it's called that it's kind of a weird title. Um, I'm not even sure what it's about. I just saw the title and I was like, this sounds intriguing. So I have that one in. I also have another middle grade in called, I think the series is called like Greystone Secrets. The premise of this one sounded so creepy and I was like, this is so perfect for fall because it's about this group of kids and their mother leaves them with some people to kind of babysit them, care for them, watch over them for an extended period of time while she goes somewhere. And then these kids, these siblings start hearing about how three kids, like in a newspaper, three children have been kidnapped and everyone is searching for them. But the three children, like the descriptions and everything like that exactly resemble themselves, which is so scary. Um, so I have that too. As for the broken wings oh my oh my gosh it's a good it's a good time um i don't know if i actually explained the synopsis in this vlog yet maybe i did we're following a young man who uh it's kind of assumed that the author is modeling the young man the protagonist after himself but he falls in love with this woman named selma uh, and he becomes very very close with her father as well it takes place over a very short span of time but it's also about a whole bunch a whole bunch a lot of spiritual love and spiritual connection um, and kind of this higher love that he always keeps alluding to and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we've now just reached the turning point because this is a tragedy and unfortunately Selma has just been given to another man who is um, the bishop's nephew 
where they are. So it's kind of a really tumultuous situation. She doesn't want the marriage. Obviously our protagonist doesn't want the marriage. So I'm not sure what's going to happen from here because right now they're basically like saying goodbye to each other. Um, and that's all the synopsis tells you on the back. So we're up to like the synopsis of what has happened and I'm not sure what's going to ensue. So just the descriptions in here of Lebanon and the language he uses to describe nature and, and just like the passion he uses in his language to talk about love and Lebanon and the country and everything so, so beautiful. Um, and it's great. I've tapped so many nice quotes that, um, yeah. Maybe if I do like a favorites video as well, I'll include my favorite quotes of the month that I've picked up from books because that would be quite fun as well. Oh, also if you have any, um, things you would like to see included in a favorites video like that, like favorite blah blah blah, <laughs> just leave it down below. So, yeah. Good afternoon. It is almost the weekend now. Um, so I just wanted to come in here and give a few little updates. I also want to show you guys what candles I got because I got a lot of pumpkin scented wax in my life at the moment. So I thought I would show you those. And then yesterday I did manage to go thrift shopping, which was so much fun. Um, and I got a few pieces I'm just too excited about not to wait for like a thrift haul to film. So I think I'll like show you a few, maybe a couple of them now. I also did get some books yesterday. I kind of got a lot of books, but yeah. So there will be definitely a really big book haul coming soon because I've just acquired somehow somehow i've acquired them as if i don't know where they're coming from all of these books recently so there will be a book haul and i also want to do like a thrift haul with not books if that makes sense so yeah but let's start with the candles so the first one i didn't get this one but i'm very excited to have it in my life and it's where is this from i think this is fern candle company or something um but it's just pumpkin pie and it smells so good it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. It's so big. It's gonna burn for so long. Anyway, that is the first one. Just plain old pumpkin pie. I love it. So these next three are from Bath and Body Works and this one is my favorite. It's pumpkin pecan waffles. Pecan? 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 
<laughs> pumpkin pecan waffles um this one is my favorite and also like i love how the lids have little pumpkins on them wow there you guys are <laughs> oh this one smells so good and then the front has like a little fox man on it and he's he's eating a pie or no no i guess he's eating a waffle what am i saying and there's like a waffle detail on the side and a whole bunch of pumpkins i just think it's so pretty we got some gourds on here the next one we got is cinnamon irish cream um which has like this cute mug on it and then all the way around this is the one i was burning last night during a very intense game of monopoly which i lost this one almost smells like birthday cake like birthday cake flavored birthday cake that's such a meta concept I don't know why I'm doing this, as if you can smell them, but so good. And then this last fla flavor. Wow, it is not a flavor. You should not eat your candles. Um, the last scent is pumpkin dolce de leche, and it looks so cute. Such like a sleek, modern design. Oh, I could see myself selling candles in my future. <sighs> it smells so good. So those are the candles that I got quite excited about it. Okay, and then let me show you like two articles of clothing i'll just like show you the first one and then the second one i am just over the moon about like it's my favorite thing that i own now i think um and it's just so i can't believe i found this at the thrift store to finish out this week probably i finished if i had your face so good four stars i loved it so much um would really highly recommend definitely very eye-opening and it talks so much more about other things and other issues than just um, the beauty culture in Korea. So really, really loved it. And then I started another book a, yesterday or something, another audiobook. Yeah, it is The Natural History, A Natural History of Dragons. I'm sorry, it is definitively A Natural History of Dragons by Mary Brennan. I'm really, really liking it. It's quite a cool, set up, fun, adventurous little book about this woman, Lady Trent. I believe her name is, who is basically like the world's most famous dragon naturalist. She studied dragons basically her whole life, so it's telling about her life and how she came to be who she is through the study of dragons. So it's quite fun. It's nothing, you know, super heavy or anything like that, but it's just really, really fun. And I'm quite in the mood for it right now, so I'm really enjoying it. I'm still reading The Broken Wings, still reading Solaris. Is there anything else? I don't know. I am going to be filming a bookshelf tour pretty soon as well because um, I think I just want like one more snapshot video of what my bookshelves look like in the year 2020. So yeah. Okay, anyway, this first thing is a pair of leggings that I got because they just kind of reminded me of Sailor Moon a little bit. So they just like look like this. So they just look like this and they have stars and moons all over them. Yeah, I just thought they were really, really cute and they're also very comfy. So that is the first one that I got. This thing, I don't know if anyone can guess what this is, but I'm going to put it on and then we will see what it is. Yeah, so it's a cloak. I'm like very happy about this. I don't know where I'm going to wear it maybe i would just wear it out or something just casually um but i'm very excited about it maybe i should do like a halloween video based off of like bookish halloween costumes or something like that that could be fun i hope you guys have had a really good week and if you haven't um that's okay i've had a pretty rough week this week so if you're in the same boat i am with you on that and maybe next week i'll try doing a few more things to just make it better and whatnot make next week better or try to you know just try to cheer yourself up or something like that so yeah i also wanted to just thank you guys so much because when i woke up this morning there were over twenty thousand people um subscribed to my channel which is just I don't even know what it is. It's kind of scary and kind of mind-boggling and I feel so shy about it, but um, hi. <laughs> Come say hi, I would love to meet you. Thank you so much for just supporting me and all of your kind words, they're so kind. 
yeah, now I feel like my cheeks are very red, but that's okay. Thank you for all the love and such. I am going to go for a walk, I think, right now, just try and clear my head and, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. I love you guys so much. Um, yeah, ciao.